Hello everybody, this is Mac with Rocket Mac Sports Cards and Memorabilia. This is going to be my second break. I'm doing um, Topps Heritage Minor League Baseball 2022. This is what the box looks like. On top of what I'm doing tonight with the break, I want to do like a little review. Um, things that I think about this box, what I've seen, what I find. Um, give a little review of it right now. Let me tell you is that the release date of this box was the 23rd of November, 2022. Um, Tops made this uh, minor league, even with like the Heritage high high number cards, they gave it kind of a 1973 Tops design. This box will come with, as it stated, two on-card autos per box. Um, and then, plus, right when you open up this box, as I've seen, that um, it'll come with uh, three cards on the top of the box when I open it. You'll see as when I get ready to open it, they're called pinup cards. Um, the other thing that I like that I've read is that this is a there's eight cards per pack. There's 18 packs in this uh, box. Comes with 144 cards. Um, as I go along, when I do the break for this, um, I'll tell you more about what I'm finding in the in the parallels. The insert cards, um, hoping that we can find some color or, or image variations. And I'll even show you where you can find that information out so you do it yourself. Try to basically help people figure out, you know, when they open up boxes, the different types and things that go on. Enough about that. Let me get into this and let's get it started. Be very gentle with the paper, plastic. Use that. See, I want to get at least get the plastic cut. There we go. Um, other things that we'll be seeing in this card is, uh, in this box is, there's, uh, baseball stars in here from the past and the future. It's a 1953 design. You find probably players like Bo Jackson, Jeter, Deion Sanders, and other things you'll find as prospects. Um, Henry Davis, Marcelio Wallace, Mayer, Marcelio Mayer. And Benny Montgomery. All right, let me get this box open. Like I stated, you'll find some pinup cards. They're not the real autograph, but we got Mac. Here we go. As you can see, the sides right here got a little bit more of an edge. That's how we kind of tell it's a pinup. It's got some pretty good players in here. As like I stated, these are called pinup cards. Oh, nice. We got some nice players here going on. We got Mayor, Campos, Acosta. Nice. Let me get these put over to the side. I will, any cards that I think that are of a value that I will be probably selling probably tomorrow on eBay is, um, I will have these cards on sale eBay on my eBay page, Rocket Max Sports Cards and Memorabilia. Other things you will see is, as you can see at the cover, these are called, there will be cards in here called pack covers that look almost exactly like this of certain players. As like I stated, these are all going to be minor league players, new upcoming prospects, future players that, you know, the reason I wanted to open up a box of these is because I really like, as as a collector, getting new cards of the new and upcoming players because you never know who's going to be hot one week or not. And you're just hoping that you got that goat in one of these packs. So let's get started with the first pack. Let me push all these off to the side here. As I stated, I got these right here. Any cards that I find of a value, I'll sleeve, protect them, and load them. Put them up here, and we'll kind of break down a review of the top three cards that I think that are the money makers. All right, let's get started. Try to go a little bit slow with the cards so people can see them. Give you a rundown of these types of cards. Like this right here, it's going to be your base card. But the thing that you're wanting to look for is, like I told you, is the color and the image variation. Is if you look at the back of the card, right over here in the corner, it'll say color or variation. Another thing you want to look at is there's a there is a code right here at the bottom. I know it might be a little hard to see because of the light, but in the bottom, it'll have a code. If you find anything with a short print, it'll be right here. It'll say four, uh, 431. All your base cards that are just basically regular cards will say 417 right here at the bottom. Um, the image image cards will have a 432. Color cards will have a 434. 
And they also have a Roberto Clemente card. It's got a 433, which will be kind of easy to see. But as like I said, you're looking for the image and color variations, trying to find any any color number cards. All right, well, let's get started here. All right, we got the Brewers. Inland Empire 60 years. All right, here we go. This right here is going to be a card that is basically a tribute to the classic Latin American Winter League cards of the past. They're called Tijeras, meaning Spanish, and Spanish means card. As you can see, it's all in Spanish. And the player. We'll see a lot of these. Very, these are basically uh, parallel cards that are basically, like I said, as a tribute. As you see on the back of the card, it'll have the TJ on the side, on the top right there. That'll give you notice that this is, um, like I said, a classic Latin American winter card from 1973. Get a little look. Next card that we got here, we got a Derek Jeter. These right here are called Baseball Star Cards. They're basically a reprint of the 1953 edition that Topps came out with. So as you can see, it's a younger version of Jeter. Turn this bad boy over so you get a look at what I mean. As I stated, Baseball Cards, Baseball Stars, number 11. And it says 417 on the bottom right here. So there is no, basically it's not a short print or anything of that nature. It's a nice card. I think that's going to go right on my top. Let me get this card put over here. All right. All right, right here. The cards, basically, the base cards right now, they're, they're paper. They like the old edition cards, you know, since these are the pre prints of the 1973 Tops design and, the, and some of the 1953s. So they got that old paper feel to them. Right, very good. Red Sox player. All right, we got a Bobby Witt homer in three consecutive games. Basically, a preseason, postseason, uh, pitcher and card. You'll see a lot of these two inside this uh in this box. As I said, we've reviewed already. Well, you'll see these editions, the pinup cards, the baseball stars, and the Latin American 1973 cards. All right, it's a good player right there, Zach Veen. All right, let's open up another pack and get started here. I haven't found a pack, basically a pack covered card once we get to that. But these are basically the majority of things that you're going to find on these cards. I didn't look at the back of those other cards to see if they were any short prints. I will review over a while because it takes forever. Then you got right here, you got your uh, average leaders. You'll see some of these cards too. Like I said, one kind of other thing is there's a called flip stock. There'll be a flip stock will be a number card be like one one out of twenty five. Um, looking at this four seventeen, it's basically a regular card. Like I said, a postseason card. Right. Just kind of always want to in doubt anytime you always want to look at the back, make sure there's no says color or image right there. It's a regular base card. I'll try to go a little bit faster here as we go because I got to look at the back of the card. When I do find any uh, short prints or color or image cards, I'll basically let you know what let you know what they are. All right, and you got James Wood. All right, let's kind of go a little quicker with this. Like I said, there's a lot of trades going on. As you got him right here. Might, might get to see him next year and playing for the Red Sox since they did get Bogarts, you know, went to the Padres today. All right, that's a really good player right here. Benny Montgomery. Put him over on our side. All right. I don't know. Maybe this might be... Um, Short print. Usually a short print, you'll have a different kind of way, you know, them doing something crazy or holding something different, bad, a different way. All right, let's look at for Nope, regular. As we say there, 1953, or I'm sorry, 1973 uh, Latin American winter cart. It's a good player. All right. 
another upcoming player that I think you see. All right, let me get some of these cards sleeved up real quick. Put some of these up here for my top three edition. Like I said, as we get on going down their row, we will bump them out of their ways. Hopefully we can find some short prints, um, some serial number cards. But right now we haven't really found much of anything. I did do a couple breaks, basically not online or through YouTube, but I, you know, opened up a couple of these minor league boxes, and I have my ups and downs about these 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 cards. I mean, I do got to give credit that the the basically the box was under a hundred bucks, so that's kind of the the upside of it. Um, the other upside I like about this is the three pinup cards. You get the two autographs. And you get different parallels of cards, like this Derek Jeter. Um, but and then the other ups and downs, is, like I said, is the players. The only thing I didn't like, since I've done a couple, I've opened up a couple of these boxes for research purposes, is that I didn't get a lot of uh, numbered serial number cards. I did find a couple in my other. I did find a couple um, short prints, but didn't really find anything, you know crazy like that i mean a lot of the players that we're looking for is like this gentleman right here <clears throat> you're also looking for you know henry davis benny montgomery all right let's get some cards opened up here real quick that's all the reason you're here to see oh please give me any likes dislikes in the comments box please subscribe give me as many views as i can so i can keep on doing this and then work my way through another good player right here turn it around oh. oh here we go this is one I was talking about Let me set this down real quick you got Leon see it just looks like a regular base card that's what I said when you doubt you flip it back there right there is the 25 that's a flip stock card. So this is the second one of 25, as you can see a little closer. That's, But that's when I say in doubt, you always want to look at the back of the card to get any information. Because most of the time they'll have these serial numbers cards. They'll have it on the front or on the back. Let me get this put up real quick. Get it protected. Like I said, most most collectors, they want to make sure that you protect the card as best as you can. You, know, you don't want to you know damage any of the sides. But then the other addition you want to do is that you just want to make sure you protect the card as best you can. So as I said, you got a 2 of 25. This is a flip stock card that comes with this edition. You might also find um, just different color cards that'll have that'll be serial numbered. I think we're going to bump this card right here and put in Mr. Leon right there. All right, let's get moving down. Pick up these back these cards and see what we got going on. Hopefully we can find some other stuff like some inserts. Or short prints. Another good player right there. Let me get that back into focus. The Montgomery Biscuits. <laughs> I like something. That's the other thing I do like about the minor league teams is they got some really funny names. Daryl Lopez. Forza. All right, let's grab some other packs. Well, we've opened up a couple, about three or four packs so far. Nothing really that special. As you can see, we got our top three up there. Jeter, Montgomery, and the flip stock card. Serial numbered. Here we go, another postseason card. All right, here we go. This right here is, like I said, is a pack-covered card. It's a pretty good player, too. That's a really good card, as you can see. Just like the front of a pack of cards. See if this is any, uh, check to see if there's any short prints with this card. Let me look at the back. Nope. All right, let me get that put over the side. I'll get that sleeved. And then here we go again, another Baseball Stars card. Give it a look right there. Put that right. Pirates player. 
shorebirds, flying tigers, and nationals. Let me look at that back real quick, get a little real quick look. All right, kind of went slow this round. I'm going to try to pick it up, go a little faster for you guys. Don't want to get you too, don't want you falling asleep on me. Hopefully we can get something to get this the party started, you know what I'm saying? All right, like I said, you got the old edition. And look at that, the old paper edition cards give that old feel, that old look. All right, we got a boyhood photo of the stars. Back when they were little kids, probably. Great Lake Loons. <laughs> All right, we got some prospect pictures here. I know this gentleman's already moved up to the Red Sox uh, starting pitch. Pitching in the last year, and Mr. Rodriguez plays with the Orioles. All right, some AAA strikeout leaders of last year. All right, let's see. We got another boyhood star, photo stars. Number one draft pick, Henry Davis. All right, let's get a look at that. Yard goats. <laughs> like I said, some of these names are just crazy. All right, let's go a little faster here. Get this picked up a little. Let's go a little faster on the speed. I have a hard time with names, so I jacked up names a lot. So that's kind of why I haven't said any really names. We got Henry Ford. He's a good player. All right, we got some. There's some really good prospects, shortstops right there. Probably, hopefully, might see him next year playing for the Red Sox. Oh, nice. Marcelo Mel. Let's see if this is a short print. I know that he's on the list for short print cards. Oh, it is a short print. Number 431. I don't know if you can see that. I should say 431 right about there. I don't know if the camera is focusing well enough on that. But this is a short print. I don't know why, but let me get this sleeved up real quick. Move him into the one of the top three slots. And like I said, I will try to get these cards online sometime tomorrow and put them up for sale. A lot of times people do breaks. They will sell the cards by putting up an auction for you buy the team. You might buy, um, they will do a computer generated where they'll, you know, you bid on just getting a slot in one of the slots. They'll put it in a computer generated computer and mix it up a little bit. And then you get slapped with whatever team that that computer gives you. So you might get the Red Sox. You might get the Orioles, Tampa Bay. So, but me, I'm just going to put this card up for auction probably tomorrow. And you get a chance to purchase it or put a bid in. All right, let's get Mr. Benny Montgomery moved over and let me get him in here. That's a short print card. That's nice. All right, let's get back to the cards here. All right. Francisco Alvarez, Henry Davis, really great prospect catchers right there. Probably going to be big-time players in the next couple of years. Let's see, look at that back again. Nope. Some good outfielders. Let me get that more there. Played for the Carolina Mudcats, Perez. All right, let's get the speed going here. Like I said, this is one of the downside I haven't really liked about the Heritage cards, minor league, and I've opened up a high number in my last video. Just, you know, nothing really blinging or popping as I felt like. Still haven't gotten the, one of those two autograph cards. Go a little faster here. All right. Got another lat classic Latin American 1973 Winter League card. Rayo Raydelos. Making sure there's no card stuck here yet. All right, let's see. Luis Mateo. Another upcoming player for the Orioles right there. Kobe Mayo. Asheville Taurus. 
All right, let's get it going. Still haven't found any of the autographs. Haven't found only found one serial number card. Looking for a color or an image card, anything like that. All right, Holgate. I think Emerson Hancock. He plays for the Seattle Mariners. I'm not for sure. Oh, whoa! Look here. Nice. This is one of the likes that I do like about these cards is that the autographs are written in. They're not any labels or prints. They're 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 on card autos. I mean, all right, let me get this. Let me get this thing real quick. Put it up. Not a player that I know or have any knowledge about. Let me get this set down real quick. Get this sleeved up. Maybe one day, hopefully, he'll be the next big thing. Holding a million dollar card. <laughs> That's the one thing I do like about opening card breaks and doing open up packs and boxes is you're always trying to look for that unicorn. You're always trying to find that next big card. Hopefully you can find it. That's the fun thing about opening these cards. All right, get one look. I think it's time for Mr. Jeter to make an exit. All right. Let's pick up where we started. All right. Flow Bisons, the Giants, the Jupiter Hammerheads, Brewers. Right, let's see, what we've got, we're already about halfway through the box. Got one autographed, one flip stock no, serial number card, and one of the top prospects right there, Mr. Mayor. I haven't seen any really anything blinging yet. I haven't really found any images, short prints. Another uh, pack card right there. They do stick together a little bit, so that's not any fun. I have nothing. Hopefully, maybe this might be a short print. Nope. The Langston Lug Nuts. <laughs> Frisco Rough Riders. I think the other thing about opening these minor league packs is, is looking at the names of these new upcoming players. Um, always trying to, like I said, you put these away and the next thing you know, one day you're looking two years later, you're running through all these cards that you've got stored somewhere. Thinking, oh my God, I think I have the next big player. You never know. I mean, look at Julio Rodriguez, stuff like that. Oh, we got a, we got a colored card coming up. Oops. Another really upcoming player. Right, let's see who we got here. Oh, this is nice. This is really nice. Oh, this is a unicorn right here. I call it a unicorn. Very good upcoming player. 9 of 50. So it's got the black border. Oh, this is a beauty. And it's got an on-card autograph. Look at that. Nice, really nice. Let me look at this one real quick and make sure it's not a short print or anything like that. Let me get that. Oh, I gotta get that, get that protected there. That's a good card. That's something that you really want to find in a box. A serial numbered card, black border, and an autograph of a really good upcoming player, Lewis Angel. And like I said, you want to get. A really low number so right here we got nine of 50 that's really nice very nice card so we do have our two autograph cards that have come with the box man this is going to be a hard one right here who where am i going to bump i think i'm going to have to go with i'm going to have to bump mayor for right now all right let's put him over side we've got some decent cards out of this box last box i opened up didn't really get a whole lot of decent cards Jerry Moore. Like I said, boyhood star, boyhood photos of stars. Put that over here. Zoom through this a little faster. So I can come up with a player that I think, with the research that I've done, is a pretty upcoming player. I'd like to find the 
De La Cruz. I think Bobby Wood Jr. is in here. I'd like to find him. Austin Martin. He's another upcoming prospect. Put him over. Bubba Chandler, another prospect. All right, we got an on card. Oh, Maximus Acostas. He's another upcoming player. Nice card, but I don't think he can beat up my top three right now. Luis, Luis Rodriguez, Dodgers. Oh, we got a 431 here. This is a short print. Uh, so let me get that put over here. I will get that put in a sleeve and a card in just a minute. So at least we've gotten two short prints. That's a nice. McGable, another kid coming up. Alex Ramirez. Looking at the backs here real quick. Let me get that short print sleeved up. I mean, these are the things that you do want to find in packs. You want to find short prints, images, colors. I mean, you got the black border. But like I said, whenever you're in doubt, always look on the back. Bottom right-hand corner. That'll tell you about everything you need to know. Majority of cards that come out with any type of variations, image variation, colors, short prints, they'll, the best thing to do is do research. Research online. You know, I've, I've gone through uh, Beck's Variation Guides. They'll tell you, you know, the codes to look for in the back of the cards, a uh, cardboard connection. But they also give you pictures of variation cards, so it kind of helps you to figure out what, what to look for, even if you don't can't read the codes or nothing like that. All right, you know what? I'm going to put him right over here to the side for right now. That's a pretty good card. And you know what? I'll put Mr. Mayor over here. Let me let me put all the cards that I think that are pretty good that I'm going to try to sell right there. All right, let's get another pack open. Let, let me knock my, knock my little tripod here over a little bit. But I'm kind of, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not, I'm happy, but I'm not really impressed right now. I like to find a lot more unicorns, as you say. All right, let's go a little faster here. I think this gentleman right here is a prospect for the Yankees. Somerset Patriots. Oh, this is another nice card. Another upcoming prospect, Benny Montgomery. Like I said, you got here is the baseball stars. Let's see the back. Let me show you the back of that real quick again. Gives you an idea of what you're gonna see. Baseball stars. I'll get that sleeved up in just a minute. Another upcoming player. He does have a short print too. So hopefully maybe we can find it. No. Daniel Rodriguez. Yep. Another postseason card. Another upcoming Ian Lewis. Marlins. Let's see if this is a short print. No. Nope. Right, let's get moving on down the road. Anybody that's starting to get into collecting baseball cards, I mean, try to. Like I said, I, I bought this card, this box for under 100 bucks just to get started on my breaks. Try to re reel in people. Please do like, subscribe, and you know, hopefully, I can build a following. We can all learn together. It's another upcoming player with the Marlins. Right down here. Oh, we got another black card. Nice. Hopefully, maybe it's the Latin American card. We'll see. All right, we got some base dealers here. Bryce Johnson, Drew Walters. All right, here we go. Another Latin American card. Got the great Spanish TJ on the back. Let's show you what it looks like on the back a little bit better. Oh, here we go. Here's a nice player right here. Upcoming prospect for the Red Sox, Tristan Cass. Let's see. It's so short. Nope. I'm going to put that down here. And these are Curtis Mead, another upcoming player. Jeter Downs. Cole Cosmer. Cosmer. Jacked up the name there. All right. We haven't really found anything. Maybe hopefully we can find some more autographs, some colors. Serial number cars. Right, Mr. Pot. I do think we might have something here. Hopefully we do. Another postseason card. Great Lake Loons. <laughs> I'll put him. Whoops, let me move that back over. The Rays. Oh, this is a short print. See, he's got his headband on it. That's what makes a short print. It's like I said, number 431. 
Look at there at the bottom. That's a short print. Let me put that right there for a second. I'll get it put in a sleeve. The Rancho Cucamonga Quakes. All right, so we've got at least three or four short prints. That's a nice thing that, you know, make a little couple bucks off these cards. I haven't really, I haven't really seen the price guide yet. The prices haven't came out on the Beckett. And you, sometimes if you want to look and try to find the best prices of these cards, if you're trying to sell them, is to basically go through eBay. I mean, just look up what everyone's trying to sell. Sometimes they're a little high. Sometimes they're a little low. Let me get that one card sleeved up real quick. Since it's a short print. Like I said, you want to protect your cards as best as you can. That's why we put this right here. If I get it to work. In a sleeve. Plastic sleeve. Break out the old trusty right here. Protective cover. Put Mr. Gentleman right here. Mr. Carlos. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are down to the final three packs. The final three packs. Hopefully we can find that unicorn. We do have a couple, couple short prints. I haven't seen any image or color cards on the top corner. And like I stated in the, in the beginning of this, you want to try to find an image or a color right here on the corner. It'll say image or color right there. And you're looking for that code. There we go. Got some prospect outfielders right here. Plays for the Yankees. Got Benny Montgomery again. Put that in Got another pack cover in the back, as I can see. All right, second baseman. All right, Josh Greer. Pack cover card right there. Put that there. Prospect first baseman. I know that he got called up this year. Tristan Cash. Davis, the Cubs. All right. Well, that's kind of like I said, the disadvantages of, of the Heritage Packs that I've opened up so far is that they don't give you a whole lot of, to me, I don't think they give you a whole lot of number, serial number cards. Oh, that's a nice card right there. I think he plays for the Mets. Yes. Put that down here. Maybe this is a short print. Let's see? Nope. All right, I'm going to kind of go a little fast here. Haven't gotten really any color cards except for the black one and the flip stock. Try to keep in focus so you guys can see. Still kind of new to this whole YouTube game. Working on it. Trying to... Alright. Last pack. Come on, unicorn cards. Alright. Pete Crow Armstrong. Really good player. But no short print. This might be... Hopefully this can be a short print the way he's coming in. Nope. All right. Nope. Nope. The Hickory Crawdads. Check that out. <laughs> now up to bat. Playing for the Hickory Crawdads. Evan Carter. <laughs> I don't know how the guy would not laugh at that. Plays for the Oklahoma City Dodgers. All right. This is our last card. Nope. Well, let's do a little review. Um, got the like I said, got the flip stock card, flip stock card right here, Pedro Leon. It's a two of twenty-five, as you can see right here. Usually, this number can be anywhere. It can be on the front of the card, be on the back of the card. No color Im or image of variation right here. See, put that down right there. We got our nice autograph. Place with the Rays, first base. All right. Make sure to see no color, no variation over here in the top right here. So this is basically just an on-card autograph. Well, sometimes they'll put a sticker autograph where you'll sign about 150 stickers and they just stick them on the card. But that's the other plus side I said about Heritage is that they're all on-card autographs. Now this right here I think will be my money maker, my unicorn, Louis Angel, black border, 
autograph. Nine of 50. Nice. Get a look at that real quick. Yes, sir. It's another upcoming player that I've. And let's check out some of these short prints that we got. Got the short print. He's not wearing a hel helmet or a hat. I guess. Like I said, it's got the 431 on the back. I, hopefully you can see it. You probably can't. If I can get the light to focus on it. Yeah. All right. We've got the Derek Jeter. Baseball stars. Number 11. Got Benny Montgomery. Upcoming player. And we got our pinup cards. It came straight out, straight when you open up the box. Maxima. See? Other thing you can read right here is that you can use that, you know, you got 73, which is a 1973 edition. You got the PU, which will probably tell you it's a pinup. And the number 10. You got to be careful with these cards because they're paper. Right here, Mr. Mayor. And he is a short print. This is another unicorn card with a 431 on the bottom code. And we got another short print of Lewis. No, nope, I think this is, yeah, another short print right here, 431. Mr. Rodriguez with the Dodgers. As I stated, the um, if you get any of these packs, the Heritage uh, Minor League cards, their uh, short prints will have the code of 431. Um, all their base cards will have 417 on the bottom corner. The image cards will have a 432 or say image right here on the top. And the other one we have is the color variation, which will have a 434 on the bottom, or say color right here on the side. Uh, we didn't find any Roberto Clemente, which is a 433 code. But in all in all, these are the cards that I got right here that I'm going to be putting on eBay sometime tonight or tomorrow. And some other cards that I got that, that I think are valuable. I Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. I'll try to get another breakout as soon as possible. Like I said, like, subscribe, tell me comments, give me ups, downs, dislikes, good likes. But an all review of the Topps Heritage Baseball 2022. I don't know if I would want to buy another pack of these cards because they just, I don't feel like they give you the, 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 the unicorns that I want. Plus, for other player, other people that are doing breaks, it's kind of hard for them being that they're all minor leagues. So they're, you know, they're up and coming. But there is some pluses here is that, like I said, you get a different variations of cards. You, you know, you get the color variation, the short prints. Um, the Latin American cards, the baseball stars, the pinups, um, but all in all, and plus the pack, the box was under a hundred bucks, which, you know, if you get into this with a lot of these boxes, they can, they can range up into the thousands, 300, $600 range, but hopefully everyone enjoyed tonight. Um, like I said, follow me, give me some likes and tell your friends. This is Mac with Rocket Max cards and sports memorabilia signing out see you guys next time